How's it going everyone? Welcome back into the channel. So as I just uploaded my previous video going over the signing of Zion Gilbert at cornerback for the Packers practice squad, as well as elevating Corey Ballantyne from the practice squad to the 53-man roster, the Packers have made yet another cornerback signing, signing cornerback Robert Rochelle to the active roster. We also did get a slight update on some of the other cornerbacks um, as this news came out uh, for practice today, where Jair Alexander did return to practice and Eric Stewart Stokes is still not practicing. Now, the full practice report will be out in a couple hours, so definitely be on the lookout for that practice update right here on this channel. But in this video, just want to quickly go over the signing of Robert Rochelle and what he could bring to this roster in an already really banged up cornerback room that has definitely been struggling. Before we dive into the breakdown of this new signing, I do want to take a second and give a big shout out to this year's sponsor, BetUS. BetUS is a leading online betting platform with with a wide range of sports betting and casino games. They are known for their reliability, security, and excellent customer service, and they have an awesome promo going on right now through my channel. Going down and clicking the link and signing up for BetUS, which is available in all 50 states, will get you a 125% deposit match. So if you go and deposit $100, then you'll have $225 to play with. To sign up, simply click the link down below. You'll be brought to this page. You click bet now, and in just three simple steps, filling out your details, you'll be signed up. Then once you're signed up and make your first deposit, you can go into the Packers Vikings game, and there are a ton of different props to look at, such as first to score, first scoring play of the game. There's a ton of different props you can combine and make a really cool bet slip. The options are endless. So again, thank you BetUS for sponsoring today's video. All right, so now let's dive down into the new, new signing at cornerback for the Green Bay Packers, Robert Rochelle, was a fourth round draft selection in the 2021 draft to the Los Angeles Rams, most recently with the Carolina Panthers. And if we bring up his PFF profile here, we'll see in 2022 for the Rams, he appeared in six games. Now, only a total of 29 snaps there and a very bad PFF grade, a 49.5, but it was a small sample size. Going back to 2021, when he was a rookie, he appeared in more games and a lot more snaps. He appeared in 10 games and had 233 total snaps and a pretty average 61.9 PFF grade. So a lot better in 2021 and played a lot more than he did in 2022. But he is a former fourth round selection just a couple years ago. So it adds a little bit of talent to this cornerback room. And who knows, maybe a change of scenery to Green Bay will replenish his playing ability at that cornerback spot like it kind of did with Rasul Douglas a couple years ago. At the end of the day, this cornerback room is severely banged up. Now, Jair did return to practice today, but we'll see how that goes for the rest of the week. We thought he'd be playing in Denver after the bye, then that he re-emerged on the injury report Thursday and didn't play in that game. Eric Stokes was slated to return, injured himself four snaps in on special teams. Who knows how long he'll be out now? He didn't practice today. Keyshawn Nixon has been disappointing in the slot role, and really the only consistent cornerback right now has been Rasul Douglas. Carrington Valentine has filled in for Jair and hasn't performed too, too well in his spot. And even when Jair is out there, he's actually had a pretty down season. So the cornerback room, just a massive question mark right now. So it makes sense for the Packers just to try to get bodies in there considering they won't know who they have right now going into this uh, Sunday game against the Vikings. Also bringing up Rochelle's RAS, here we see he is a great athlete, a 9.65 RAS. He is 5'11", almost uh, 6 foot here. PFF has him at 6'2", but his RAS, he's 5'11.6", 193 pounds, elite speed. He runs a 4'4'1", uh, great 20-yard split, great 10-yard split, great agility grade there, and an elite explosion grade, an insane 43-inch vertical, an 11-foot one broad jump. Now, Rochelle is just an outside cornerback. In his two years in the NFL, he's taken pretty much every single snap at outside cornerback. 238 snaps outside, two snaps in the slot. So with their earlier signing, Zion Gilbert, he was primarily a slot cornerback. Them signing him to the practice squad, elevating Corey Ballantyne and adding Robert Rochelle gives them more depth, much needed depth at that cornerback spot. Rochelle being an outside guy, Ballantyne kind of having some versatility, and Gilbert being a slot guy. So going into this Vikings game this Sunday, they will be without Justin Jefferson as he still is on IR and will not be playing in this game. You know, that definitely helps because if Jair can't go in this game, we saw, you know, him man up Justin Jefferson in the second game last year and it went really well, but 
you know, Justin Jefferson is not going to be playing in this game. So at least if the Packers are without Eric Stokes and Jair Alexander, it's not going to be against Justin Jefferson getting like 280 yards against us. But that about does it for this video. Just want to quickly update you guys again on yet another Green Bay Packers roster move and signing. I appreciate you guys coming by and supporting the channel. If you want more Packers news analysis and updates every single day, you'll find it all here right on this channel, such as signings, game analysis, injury reports. There'll be one here in a couple hours, so be on the lookout for that and go click subscribe if you haven't already. But that about does it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Pack Go.